It's Saturday, September 3rd, 2022. Um, I'm in, I'm in this area. Um, I'm just taking, uh, inventory of my health at the moment and where I'm at, um, Again, by metrics that they allow the local area doctors allow me to know um, with in the St. Francis system, uh, which is Catholic health system. Um, I have these metrics on paper um, of, uh, baseline analysis, um, for hematological oncology, oncology metrics that I'm keeping an eye on. Um, I've gone from around 220 down to 192 over a two month span, um, in order to accomplish this result, um, I've tried several of the powdered, um, formulas or shakes, um, for drink purposes, not an alcoholic. It's a dry, it's a dry powder. It's a dry drink. Um, I just recently, I've, again, um, I listen to what the humans, what they say, and then there's the real field experience and clinical analysis of my own machine that I was birthed into this world within that's been affected. It's during a period that the humans acknowledge as COVID, for a while it was called coronavirus, um... It happens to run alongside a systemic outbreak in this in this area of New York of obesitis, cellulitis, which again they call it cellulite, which is like this lumpy mashed potato looking accumulation. It's some kind of tissue, looks like it's trapping gas which body mechanics wise, I'd understand why you wouldn't want air just flowing in and out of the lines unless you had the right ionization and binding potential at biochemistry because then you could get embolisms and all sorts of really dangerous biologically mechanical problems. Um, so what I've noticed as of late, I mean, is my tonality of muscle mass has gone down and not it's not in the semblance of the appearance of the shakes that I'm aware of it's more I've had this chronic anemia which has knocked out my ability to perform and at optimal um, levels that I like I was when I was at 31 to uh, 31 before 2012, um, I was at peak postpartum fitness, uh, and then I had a fourth child and then I got hit with, I don't know what, and it's steadily been declining again. Just recently at age 43, 44, I noticed muscle tonality was an issue because I finally, I had that blood transfusion, which the doctor even mentions, I'm not at peak uh, systemic blood flow and I'm not between the range of 11 to 15 for blood volume. I'm still at a 10. Uh, and as far as iron binding for oxygenag oxygenation of the histology or the tissues, um, we're keeping an, I'm keeping an eye on the numbers, um, uh, best as I can, as best as they educate me for. Um, but 
I went from, I mean, at 44, I should be able to move fluidly. There should not be such rigidity in uh, between range of motion. I'm still flexible. In fact, I've been getting some of my flexibility back um, with just hours of stretching um, mixed with periods of cardiovascular, light cardiovascular, just walking, just walking. And then instead of sitting in a chair, I sit on the floor and I stretch, um, using gravity to my benefit from my distal extremity, lower extremities to help move the fluid back in since the circulation, I don't know, is having an issue with how dense the fluid is, which again, I don't know if it's, uh, I mean, it's a microbiome, but again, I've got stacked whatever going on at the moment, stacked issues, um, that now are in a period of chronic, but with this obtuse public health system and I needing an, a, acute, extreme, knowledgeable professional and having the lack of access to that, it's been um, quite daunting. So yesterday, um, there's a noticeable difference. I Now I explain the cellulitis almost like lumpy mashed potatoes under the skin, which is not an attractive look, especially for a woman my age or at any age. But again, I'm just documenting what the lack of access to the correct partner that I needed has cost me as far as affecting my health, my beauty, my like, quality of life. Um, it usually leads to quantity of life as well. So, uh, I joked with the physical therapist at the rehab center yesterday. Um, being that I'm trying to access their, the humans in this area, professional system. I mean, I've also mentioned that there is some, movement into New York that looks very seditious, looks very treasonous, looks very mutiny. They are taking over biomedical fields um, and integrating themselves with the doctors that I need. And then it becomes an integrated societal cluster that no longer functions at optimal peak physical health. So now being that in this New York area, um, I have past monarch and oligarch blood of, uh, territorial reign. I'm bringing up to whoever is following along that cares enough to follow along with my health journal. Um, as to what I'm experiencing in, since I don't know, even it's almost, you just feel trapped. Um, so <clears throat> I was, so there's this stuff when they pa package and mail you via us post, um, a product it's called bubble wrap and it has these little air bubbles, um, on a sheet that pop if you push them too hard. It's supposed to protect things like glass and so on and so forth. Adipose tissue for me almost resembles that if I think about it from a one-dimensional microscopic slide study of histology into the actual physical gross anatomy and its physiology. That's what I imagine it being akin to in outside visual products that one can actually see without having to dissect um, the body. Um, and then there's this, um, as I'm laying on the floor with my legs vertical, uh, trying to use gravity to move the dense fluid that my circulatory system's having trouble 
um, moving out, which I don't have an answer. It's an unbeknownst reason for me at this moment. Um, I ran my, my, I palpated or ran my fingers um, from proximal to distal and then from distal to proximal uh, along the femur linear line of skeletal along the musco muscular skeletal um, striated myomeres of the quadriceps and the hamstring. And I noticed as I palpated, um, it felt as though instead of having long, smooth, vertical, striated muscle fibers, if I switch geographical anatomical area in gross anatomy to the trachea, the trachea has these cartilaginous rings um, built into its muscle. The muscles are built around these cartilaginous rings. And as you palpate that, you feel the slight bump along these ridges. Um, and so that's the, the palp, the tactile or the palpable sensation when running from distal to proximal and proximal back down distal on both the quadriceps and the hamstring, it almost felt like there were these cartilaginous rings where the muscle fibers are going along the linear lines of the femur and then around a diameter in an opposite, um, which is not parallel, it is perpendicular, in a perpendicular fashion to the linear femur, uh, you have these rings, is what it feels like this tissue growth um, in my thighs uh, or the thigh area um, has constructed underneath the epidermis and the uh, in some subcutaneous range just above the muscle fibers but just below the dermal layer of skin um, and it is, it's just, it's painful. It's painful to try to move it around. It's some kind of, like there's these gas, it's almost like gas pockets stuck underneath the skin. Um, I found that with the, um, putting the, my, the feet so high and tilting the pelvis, um, the physical therapist yesterday said there's a lot of lymph nodes in the hip or pelvis area, which I forgot. And again, I don't have my medical Bible any longer being where I'm staying at the moment. She threw it out. Um, so for um, lymphatic drainage, that makes more sense. Um, also with uh, attempting this anti-gravity position to help the flow of the tissues in an alternate gravity since the circulatory system is not, my heart's fine. Um, that's not part of the problem. The part of the problem is really the biochemistry from what I can ascertain at the moment. Um, there's no shortness of breath. In fact, breathing's gotten easier now that iron has been fused properly because I was so, uh, my titers were so, um, debilitated from this. I mean, again, and then this goes into the criminality of things I've experienced here. How did my blood just go from a range of nine to 10 down 5.9 there was no internal bleeding there was no catastrophic of offense and then I look in my abdomen and I have these strange like perfect I could measure them and they're so perfectly aligned almost like a, it looks like a tool that just 
dotted and I don't know what it would have been used for uh, right along the, I mean, let's say belly button, but I don't know. Um, I guess the placental attachment from in utero or whatever. So it's just these weird markings that just appear out of nowhere. Some of them heal, some of them don't. Um, for the sake of this time, I've been in an area where a strange biological change has happened. I mean, again, I call it biological warfare. I don't, I'm, I'm dead, I'm sleeping. And then if somebody knocks me out even further and performs whatever or takes blood, I don't know, uh, how would I know? But it is just odd that my blood volume go from 10 to 5 or to 6 then to 5. Um, and this extreme blood loss, like almost overnight. But then when they give me blood transfusions, there's no, um, there's no blood loss. So it's not like it's a vascular leak. It's not an organ, or, organ leak. It's not a laceration internally. It's none of these things. It just, it's, it's very concerning. Now I listen to the humans when they speak of losing weight, not losing blood loss, but losing weight, meaning the cellulitis. Um, they speak on reading labels. I've, I followed some of their dietary, like trying to educate myself. I've gone to this thing called Weight Watchers. I've gone to something, I forget the other one. There's the LA Weight Loss. Um, they all have these systems. I've tried, I read a book called The Zone. Um, I've, I've listened to Atkins. Um, I've tried all of these trendy weight loss, but they don't actually teach you about nutrition. Um, I also have a different ionic blood composition by sequence than some of the other Now, I've been using, I've been switching off this particular, whatever's in here, I read the labels. No, I read this label because this label, I don't have the education on. I don't know what this particular label means, but I read this label. Now this label, it says it's got spinach, it's got kale, it's got carrots, beets, broccoli, it's got lentils, it's got all sorts of legumes, navy beans, chia, brown rice, peas. It says clean, traceable, pure, non-GMO. It's vegan. Um, it's gluten-free. It's raw. And it tastes as such. It's not pleasant. But it does the trick and it does the job and I believe as best as possible that the label matches the product inside because it it is that for lack of a better word but not in like a I mean like if it, it tastes very alkalinic um, like like a blood balanced type but I could be wrong because I don't know my own blood chemistry and there's no way for me to check in this environment there's no um, like if you didn't go to college and you only graduated high school but you don't want to die and you think you should have the same privileges as those that got to go to college like where do you go to get the correct educational needs for nutritional sustainability for your life so you don't like wind up with muscle tonality dangerous whatever that looks or mimics almost like an MS or a Luke Eric's in its late stages. I mean, that shouldn't have to be the forced outcome. But anyhow, then I try this one. This one tastes better. 
Um, and now I read on the back of this one. And again, it's got the pictures for someone who, I mean, I can read the label. I can read this label, but I don't know for my specific blood type and my ionic um, compound of being NEG, like whatever ABO I am. I'm either an A, I'm a B, or an, I'm an O. That's like, I'm not giving that one out at the moment. So it's an NEG, which means it has a negative instead of a positive mark in symbols next to the ABO. I don't know if these static electric nutrients are helpful or harmful and I don't know how to figure that out. The pictures look like it's in the right category. It's non-animal. I'm not supposed to have animal. Um, I don't know how much animal my body can tolerate in, in lactose or in byproducts. I don't know if I'm supposed to be a strict never touch. I There's been no... There's, there's been a lot of people who pronounce and, and try to standardize this industry, but I'm not your standard origin story. And in integration between what I know is positive in blood and I'm a negative blood, there's this, we can't even share a same standard. So that goes back to the seditious treason and then it's some personal genocide is what it looks like they're not taking my health in to their best practices my health has been deteriorating and it's been frightening to try to ascertain the correct information and then having to have some form of income to support myself and these children that they bound me with without i mean with some animal bed i mean it's Writing. So anyhow, so those are the first two that I was teetering back and forth between and I had substantial weight loss. It produced a result um, as after I got the life sustaining organ tissue donation of blood tissue and the iron. Um, then I asked Lewis um, to take me to Whole Foods the other day. Um, because these are GNC products, which is where I can walk to in health food stores around here. Um, then Lewis, I asked him to take me to something called Whole Foods. Now I went there and I found this product. And again, I'm reading the labels. I am anticipating that these labels are true fit <laughs> to what it says. However, there's this where the label doesn't even fit on the canister. So I have, I, I drank this and I was like on cloud nine. I don't know if it's the sugar in it. I don't, it's tastes like, I remember as a kid, like after you like mix the, the box brownie mix and then you get to lick the spoon. It's like that good. And I'm like, Lynn, it's telling me it's got 12 fruits and vegetables. It's got plant, 20 grams of plant protein. And I'm like, but it tastes like brownie batter or pudding. I was like, I'm reading the labels because that's what the humans on daytime talk shows and their entertainment while they're trying to distract from the integration problem with treason and sedition going on and with my personal health being it feels like le of least concern to those that have integrated themselves here dangerously and without the correct whatever um so now how do you counterbalance that? I mean, I look, this has the most amount of calories. This is 150. This is 140. And then this is 120. Now, in sitting and really 
mulling over my experience, I realize um, I need some form that the way that they explained it is there's a sodium potassium pump. So I have to be careful of potassium levels and sodium levels. There's something called a calcium potassium pump. I have to be careful body mechanic wise, um, especially on the muscle um, and respirations being aerobic and anaerobic. And then the buildup of this thing called lactic acid. Um, so there, and going back to that. So as uh, now that some of the cellulitis has gone down and I can actually with my legs up, it, 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 it pulls some of the, the, the tissue it's movable. Like the cellulitis underneath <laughs> it, 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 it's, it moves. So with the gravity pulling it away from my knees and more towards my hips, I can, I can reach the re like can reach the muscles without this, cellulitis interfering with my palp palpable ability. So as the swelling went down and as I was able to reach, I noticed, um, that there were also, for lack of a better word, I hate to use the word nodule, but it, it's somewhere between an adhes an adhesion or a knot K-N-O-T, maybe a nodule, but nodule, it's not like that size. I mean, it's more like that size, very like thin. And it feels like, um, I don't know if it's a clot, a coagulant, a coagulative effect inside of the muscle fibers. I don't know if it's adhered to the outside of the muscle fibers. I know I have extremely high platelets, again, goes back to um, the erythrocytes not being formed properly or not having enough binding oxygen. So a high platelet. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, like, it's not a, a plastic anemia necessarily because I'm able, my bone marrow, it's, it's under high exhaustion and it's being taxed far beyond its normal, trying to get my body back into homeostasis. I understand this and I'm, I'm cognizant of it, but, um, the erythrocytes themselves in formation, there's not enough binding oxygen in order to even keep an erythrocyte in its normal functioning state. So it bursts and becomes this, or at least those are the words that the local, um, matriculated classes that I went to, those are the words that they used in explaining. Um, and then my interpretation of some of those teachings into a higher caliber based on my own biomedical situation I'm going on off of. Um, so there are these like little tiny nodules, but now I've been going to physical, I went to physical therapy twice. Um, so far I have more appointments next week. Um, I, I went, I felt great while I was there. I don't know if it's mental and like I'm doing something, but again, of course, like the champion in my head that knows how and where I was at 31 post postpartum, but like muscle tonality and the machine working with itself was one set that, of course, my body's just like, I'm back in the gym, like this should be easy. And then the actual having to disengage from that and listen, re-listening to where I'm at now at fourth decade after this severe blood loss, but also chronic blood, like without my body being able to catch up in, I don't know why or what was going on that kept it in this chronic state of disease. Um, 
it's really, it's frightening that it's gone on for so long that there's no real, there's no real mentor. There's no real like access on the antenna stations of two, four, five, and seven. The public media is not even bringing forth, like they're just, they're just like read labels. Great. Okay. So I read the label, but who's actually like, there used to be something called an FDA that used to test the products. But now also I'm in New York. There's a lot of counterfeit goods that come in and hit the streets. How do I know I'm looking at this label? And if I, if I'm working vice, first thing that comes to my mind is did somebody make this in their basement? Did they put the formula together and then just change the label? But somebody knows what the true chemistry of true fit is. And it's not necessarily the right, like even reading this label does not help me and I can hurt myself. So, and like, again, I don't want to, whatever this is, it's absolutely delicious. And at the moment, it's something I would never buy. It says salted chocolate, but in the moment of knowing I have some form of feeling, I have some form of sodium imbalance and sodium being in the two most important pumps of, uh, bio, biocellular and regenerative health. I'm thinking perhaps I need to replace some of the sodium, especially since I looked at this raw organic and realized just how low uh, the sodium was. It's only 150 for one scoop on this. So I don't even know if I'm meeting my minimum sodium intake for the day, which again, this is like a moving project and I don't have nutrition under my belt. Um, but I don't even know if I went to a local college, are they teaching the ISO standard of ABOPOS or are they teaching the ISO NEG ABO? I need ABO NEG. And last time I checked the course catalog in Nassau Community College, they don't have a specific nutritional class taught just for ABO NEG. So in that legend of this standard, me being inside of the U.S. of America, also being in state of New York, being in a northern, North American continent, which is different than Central America and Latin America, being South America for linguistics, so Guerrera in wor like world of words and war of words is really crystal clear. Claro. Um, also, I've had where the quadricep um, just recently, it feels almost like some, like they have these weights that you can add when you weight train in, on, or, and you strap them around your thigh and, or around your ankle and then you go walking and it's supposed to um, help build and strengthen muscles. Well, without any addition of these weights, there are times where my quadricep feels like it has this addition of, addition of this extra weight, modified weight, where my quadricep muscles are not contracting and relaxing easily. It's something, I don't know if it's environmental. I don't know if it's something supplemental on intake. I'm having a really hard time discerning the difference and not knowing where exactly I mean inflammation plays a big part in this so I hear it's one of those I, I call it an umbrella word or an umbrella term like I I I know I understand the construct of this umbrella I understand there's a handle and then there's a grip and this utility is used in order to communicate 
and then to build upon in like the scholarly world that's how they do it it's the standardization that becomes a problem when the state is bastardized into some integration and now I can no longer even get the most mild of health benefits spoken about to my person so I can heal myself and get myself in, in, into functioning health. And I'm spending so much time on the disease process and trying to fix the disease without any form of social welfare or social income. Like there's no, like they're creating this disease and they're creating this hierarchy through sedition and treasonous behaviors while my self is totally disengaged from the oligarchs and the monarchs and I'm being hurt, caught in this chasm or this abyss, in this riptide that happens like this, 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 whatever the, the precedent to a tsunami, when the water starts to re retreat, I'm caught out really far out in whatever that equivalent is paradoxically in human terms and in management in global terms um, where I'm spending so much time just trying to fix my own internal health and there's no monetary compensation for my diary, for my journal, for my time spent even documenting this while there's a health crisis and a systemic governmental crisis going on. <sighs> While I see others have retirement accounts, they've got money-making schemes that they're a part of, there's the organized criminal rings. I mean, there's a whole lot of stuff and activities going on that I'm not a part of. I'm not being asked, I'm not being compensated. In fact, it's quite the opposite. I'm being, it's like doubling down and compounding issues, making my situation all the more worse while I see others getting ahead, or the oligarchs and the monarchs are rewarding the seditious and treasonous groups as they've already overeducated themselves and stifled my ability to have parents that are educated and my own journey of education and then my children's. This in this rolling forward gap project that I'm caught in. Um, so that's where I'm at at the moment. I, I am grateful today for one thing. Um, whoever in the gods of cinema, we'll call it God Thor on the wall, whoever said that AMC and Regal Cinemas and the cinematic whatever production companies, they reduced it to a $3 admission so I could go to the movies today. So I thank them for that. I have not no, picked a production that I'll go see. At the moment, I have to see what's available. However, at least there's that. Um, because I've asked Linda, she said that um, she'll, she'll foot that bill for my son, Antony, and I to go to the movie theater at this $3. And then I heard also on the news that at some movie theaters, they also have some pop Corn concession stand five dollar deal. I can only imagine that that's an Alexander and Nicole, Nicole or Nicholas Alexander combination between the three and the five. Um, for things that I'm grateful for at the moment, in symbolic gestures, it's star one nine seven eight, star eight three seven eight. Nicole Caruso, it's Earth. Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. 